it will be another week before we have Module 5 in class, which is where I usually introduce the Health Literacy Group video project. But I wanted you to have some more time to work on it since we're getting down to the end of the semester. So what I wanted to do was just to describe it to you here and give you a few details as I go through. This is basically a project where you apply those teaching and learning principles and guidelines that you learn in Module 5 to a teaching plan and then you actually present it to a low literacy audience, which is made up of some of your group members. Follow the process in that Health Literacy 2016 PowerPoint presentation, and it does go over each part of making that teaching plan. First, you're going to choose a health promotion topic, and that's done on a discussion board forum, and the directions are there, but note there's only one group per topic. Research the topic, you've got to use at least four different and recent sources. And at least two of those four sources need to be scholarly. And I've got some ideas of what would be appropriate and inappropriate sources here. Another thing you're going to be doing when you research your topic is identifying a handout that is used as a teaching method or aid in your teaching plan and then as you implement it in the video. Don't make a handout yourself. You need to understand how to evaluate the suitability of a handout for a low literacy audience. Information in this quick guide to health literacy will help you with this. This is also reading that you have for the module itself. You can check the handout using there are online tools but also there's a spelling and grammar option in Microsoft Word. You'll see here that I have example teaching plan an example of the title page and the references. There's also an example of a handout. Um, there's a template for you to use as you make up your teaching plan. Now again, go through that PowerPoint to, to see how to write a teaching plan. The title page and references that you turn in must be in APA format. The teaching plan itself and the handout, of course, do not need to be in APA format. Please do not go more than two to three specific client-focused objectives. Please look at that PowerPoint to see how to write those objectives. If you have, I'm sure you've learned some of that already when you're looking at care plans, and this is really basically a care plan based but focused on teaching and learning. You'll have a brief content outline for each objective and just an outline, not everything specifically that you're going to say, but an outline of what content you'll have in that presentation. Teaching strategies, there are a lot of different teaching strategies um, suggested in the PowerPoints. I think those are in the first PowerPoint that talks about health promotion through education. Then you look at evaluation strategies. That's how you're going to evaluate, and that goes on your teaching plan. It can be surveys, games, teach back. All of this can be fun. You can be creative here, and it can be fun. Then you'll videotape this, and it should be 8 to 10 minutes. And in the video, one group member is a teacher, and the other group members will be the students, which is a low literacy audience below the grade fifth, the fifth grade um, level. Use that handout while you're teaching, and a basic video is okay. No editing is required. You can do it on your smartphone. If you do a lot of editing, your video might be too big to actually upload, so be careful with that. All videos then will be shown in class during the final section, and we will have popcorn. So you can see where to submit the assignment here. The written materials go here, which include that title page, the teaching plan, the reference list, and the handout. You'll also give me a copy of those at the beginning of class. You upload the video here, and it takes pretty much all um, forms of video, all different um, ways that you save it, like an MP4 file, although that's the best. And then your grading rubric is here. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I will be glad to answer them. Again, if you look at those PowerPoints ahead of time, they're going to help explain some of the things about this project. I just wanted to show you this discussion board really quickly where you go to sign up for your topic. You can see that there is um, a table 
citing all the different topics. They're all related to health promotion. Choose one or two of these and create a thread like you would otherwise and put each member one topic for group. So create the thread in the subject line. You're going to enter the name of your topic. And then in the body of the thread, enter the first and last names of each group member. Putting the topic in the subject line helps you see what other what topics other groups have signed up for. So when you go to the discussion board, look for the topics that other people have signed up for so that you don't duplicate that topic. And that's all I have. Let me know if you have questions.